All right, so I recently made this video for Toyota, and we got a lot of questions on how I created this long exposure video effect. So I kind of want to break it down on what's happening and how we can achieve this and ways to make it look cool. So first, let's just check out this video. All right, so yeah, let's jump into it. I'm going to break it down. Cool, so this effect was done in uh, After Effects. So if you're not familiar with After Effects, it's a program by Adobe and these, um, it gets a little complicated fast, but if you want, if you know what you're trying to do, uh, it's gonna be a great tool and not as complicated as, as it may seem. So if you just try to focus on accomplishing one effect, um, it's pretty straightforward. So let me just take a simple clip and show you what this effect is all about. So here's a clip. This is a freeway shot of cars moving. So this is one of my favorite places to use this effect on uh, moving traffic. And you know, when you're taking a, a photo and you do a long exposure for a second or anything, you know, longer than a second, you're going to start getting these blurry lines where the lights are. And what it's doing is as the light's moving through the scene, it's recording the brightest spots, and that, that's what the sets are seeing. So these dark spots are essentially being erased by these bright lines. So that's why the dark spots of the cars disappear, and then the headlights and the reflections and stuff like that will carry on this light, and you'll see the, the movement. So at its most basic form, you could have a frame, and let's go to the second frame. And we're going to duplicate the layer and then move it in time. So we're just one frame off here and I'm going to do lighter color. And what it did was it took the lighter color from the second frame and composite it on the first frame. So if we went to the third frame and duplicated this layer and moved it over, you see it just got a little longer. And if we keep doing this For long, we get a longer trail. And now, if we move forward, this, these trails move in time. So this is basically it. This is this is the effect to essentially make long exposure video. There's apps that have been doing it for a long time. There's like Average Cam and stuff like that that would take video and take lighter color and create a photo out of it. And this is just the video result. So th this trick can be used a, a number of ways. Um, there's a, a quicker way to get this method and that would be if we just took this layer and we had an adjustment layer. And it's called Echo. Cool. And by default uh, it does some wax stuff. You're never going to use that. But if we went to the maximum operating mode, you notice it's doing uh, a similar kind of thing. So this is with one, and we just did uh, nine of them, so eight echoes. We get the same effect. Well, the thing is, it gets super slow. So if you if you want to put some number in there, like a hundred, uh, your computer's gonna melt. <laughs> so that's that, that's that's just not gonna happen. Let's see. Oh, there it is. It's moving. And you notice um, in things that are moving a little faster, you know, I'm shooting twenty nine nine seven. Starts breaking apart real quick, so it's not, it's not the photo effect where it's a constant stream. It's adding these layers. So if the car or whatever light is moving too fast, you're gonna get a lot of breakup in it. So this is the effect, and then for this video for Toyota, I kind of want to take it in a different way. Instead of having a stable shot and have it move, I wanted to track something in the scene and have that something be in focus. 
So here's a shot. Uh, let's go into. Okay, so here's the original shot. And we got this car moving down the street. And what I was trying to do was I was trying to keep the car in the same position and be the same distance from this car. And had I done that absolutely perfectly, I wouldn't need to track it. But there's bumps, there's cracks, and uh, it wasn't perfect. So there was some quite a bit of, of tracking that I had to do. So in this shot, let's just look at them both. Let's see. Um, I think it's right here. Compare, yeah. Okay. Oh, cool. We got some some kind of weird sound thing happening. <laughs> All right, so. What I wanted to do is I wanted to grab these lights and have the lights, those little beams of light, get really long. So it took quite a bit of, of stacking layers to get them to, to it, took, it took quite a bit of stacking to get them that long. Uh, the final renders for this took actually a couple days. It was about 48 hours of rendering. Uh, there was a lot of stuff that wasn't used, but it was it was pretty intense. I had two computers running the whole time. Uh, actually, three three computers running on this, so cool. Um, so back into it, let's check it out. Um, I have this layer here. And then I actually did a uh, track on the headlights, and I was able to get the... All right, cool, so that loaded. So if you look at the compare, the, uh, and the top versus the bottom, the bottom one has the car very stabilized, so I ended up tracking the car and then the background separately before I added the effect. And I had to stack uh, a bunch of layers on top of each other to get uh, that many echoes. It was, uh, I actually did that in the layer stacking, where the first method I showed you, where I uh, duplicated a layer and I had about, Thirty, thirty or so layers. So, and I put a bunch of different effects on each of them to kind of uh, have them each have their own little life. So I stacked quite a bit there. And uh, the next shot, this was pretty cool. So, in this shot, the scene didn't have enough light going in it. So I wanted to add even more lights in this scene. So what I did, I took a. Yeah, the, the computer's pretty slow on this. I gotta hang, hang for it. But what I did, what I did for this one was I took a uh, 3D track and I took the data points from this 3D track back into the scene and I had them be uh, source light sources for the for this uh, echo stacking to make this long exposure video. So each tracking point created more more of these trails. Oh man. This computer's toast. If you can see, there's a bunch of X's in here, and I added all those. So, as we move through the scene, let's see, oh, it's full res. Let's see if I can turn that down. Quota. All right, so you can see these X's staying with the scene. So these were hot points of light and when I do that uh, lighter color effect what's happening is it creates uh, the long exposure trails on these tracker points. So this this enabled me to get way more streaks going on. This is pretty fun. If you look at the, the final of that, that scene. Yeah, so I, I you know, and I'd like to just take uh, layers and layers on top of layers, so there's a lot of just too much stuff going on. <laughs> but that's that's basically the effect as it is. So cool. And um, so if you guys use this, make sure you tag me, let me know, so I can check it out and see what, what what you did with the effect. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And I'm trying to make more of these videos, so be sure to subscribe and let me know what you want to see more videos of. 
and uh, definitely, uh, yeah, let me know how you're using it. I want to check it out. Cool.